Hey guys, it is a very exciting morning because today I'm going to go pick up my wedding dress. We are going bridesmaids dress shopping, but first we are gonna go get some brunch. Hello, are you ready? Yes. It's Yay. cold. <laughs> These are my sisters and bridesmaids, Amanda and Jenna. Amanda's a typical middle child, so interpret that as you will. Oh, I feel like I'm doing something. She has a great sense of humor and likes to record rap songs in her free time. Her alias is Panda, but don't tell her I told you that. So hi everyone. I just want to let you know that today's my day. She already got her day, many days. It's um, Yeah, it's bridesmaid's day. She got her wedding dress shopping day. But today's our day. Jenna has a loving and generous heart, but do not get in her way when it comes to board games. She's very competitive. Gosh, I feel like she's winning. Oh, she just put another one down. <laughs> Breakfast. We learned this morning that mom doesn't know how to use a roundabout when you're driving, and Jenna just wiped out in the restaurant. She almost killed us. I was just being aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Whipped cream first. Are they good? So I recently learned some London slang that goes, that munch is a tay tay, which is basically like saying that munch is a 10 out of 10 or let food, but in a much cooler way in my opinion. Like, can we please make this a thing? On our way to the bridesmaid appointment. Amanda, how do you feel? Do you remember that um, boy I- Mom, I'm in the middle of making a video. <laughs> Mom, I am doing Emily's channel right now. Now I didn't go into these bridesmaids dress appointments with much of a style vision, I'm gonna leave that up to them to decide, but for the colors, I'm thinking either a warm autumn pink or a light robin's egg blue. So how are you gonna dance on my wedding? Which one do you like better? Which style do you like better? Um, well, if that had a slit, I'd like it a lot. Do, does it have to have a slit? It has to have a slit. I like this one. Otherwise, maybe this would be our best bet. Same designer, just different material. Okay. This was their favorite style so far, and I'm loving the shine of the fabric. They called it Luxe Charmeuse. How fancy. But now to pick up my wedding dress. How do I hold it? Typically, you kind of hold it right down here. Ooh. Rewind. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I walked in and saw all these dresses, and it just made me want to try them on again. You know, even though I'm so in love with the dress I chose, and I wouldn't change it for the world. How excited are you? I'm so excited. Do you think it'll fit? Oh, I think so. Step into Absolutely. When you were trying on. I'm scared. It's a nail biter. We will find out shortly if the dress fits right after this. The bell of the ball. Drum roll. <gasps> oh. Beautiful. My goodness. It's like a little itchier here than I remember, but I think I can add, I'll add are you, something um, here. Yeah, I might need something extra. <laughs> <laughs> Emily has on her wedding dress right now. But we can't show you, I'm sorry. She looks amazing. Goddess. I'm gonna blur it out. Goddess. Blur it out? Oh yeah. Okay, then show it. <laughs> See anything you like? I don't think anyone else would like it. Ready? We should do like a transition. <laughs> We're not going to get like it right. <laughs> it looks great. Do you want to do a model walk? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> not this color, obviously. Obviously. I think that one's really pretty too. I do prefer the, the front, like the top of this, but I like the back of this. Yeah. And the little braid details, I think they're really cute. We didn't decide on any dresses today, but we did make some progress. Both Amanda and Jenna seemed to be liking the cowl neckline, but I didn't really care for any of the shades of blue or pink they offered. I am going to go shopping with my other two bridesmaids in New York City, so maybe we'll make a decision then. Yes! <laughs> Here we go! Yay! My family and I have been baking all day. We've been making a bunch of Christmas cookies and I actually wanted to show you this because I had made a little cookie for my future ring bearer and flower girl to ask them. And they just look like this. I think you can see the texture more on this one, but ah, I'm so excited. Here are some of the 
final cookies. We have some really interesting ones. Um, I made these over here. I made a little, I tried to make Charlie Brown Christmas tree and then I realized his Christmas tree only has like one stem, but that was my attempt. This is my cousin Lily and she's going to be my flower girl. Which one's this? Yeah. The That's the Rat King? What about this? Oh my God. Sugar, Sugar Plum? <laughs> Which one's your favorite? <laughs> Clara's your favorite? Yeah. No. Attention! Yes. Here, Lily. It's Whoa. Can you read oh, it? Oh, wow. Can you see what it says? <laughs> it says, Will you be my flower girl? <gasps> Lily. Yes. Do you know what I <laughs> For the rest of the night, she was practicing her walk, and let me just say, guys, she might just outshine me. I got you a big cookie. What? Whoa. I know he know, has no idea what this means. This is my little cousin Harris, and he said yes to being my ring bearer. Or at least I think he did. He was a little more interested in the cookie at the time. <laughs> that sounds great. Oh, you like it? I have no idea. I'll take this one. Yeah. Hey, His face is going to be blue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right, it's a few days later and today I'm going thrift shopping because I am in need of some brass candle holders. Um, kind of like this one right here. I've already thrifted a whole bunch of them. So this is what I need them for. I'm doing these little centerpieces. They're not gonna be green candles, they're actually gonna be blue, but this is the idea. They have to be um, enclosed in glass because the um, venue doesn't allow open flames. But these will be going on half the tables and the other half is going to get like an Ikebana, I think it's called. Um, it's like a cool kind of floral arrangement. Right now I only have seven of these and I need 24, so we need to find some. I just mentioned that I need a cake stand for the cake I'm gonna be making. And my mother here said, no, I'm what? Laughing. I'm making my cake. I haven't tried yet, but I'm making it, okay? She said everyone's laughing at me, guys. That's She's not true, crazy. right? I'm not crazy. In other news, I am making my veil as well. <laughs> don't laugh at Don't you start. Um, so we're here at a fabric store to find some, what is it called, tool to match. All right, well, that was a bust. So I'm going to have to find another fabric store. They moved only online due to COVID, but you're still here and a lot of antiques to be found. So we're just gonna keep moving. Two here, but it might be too big, too tall. And look how tiny these ones are. So cute. Hi, Emily. Hello. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Do you like it too? Meow? Look at these, they're in French. There's flour, sugar, coffee, and tea. I just love brass. I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. So I'm looking for a gold frame, kind of like this, to take out the back and do a welcome sign. But this one is 49, so it's a little more expensive than I want to pay for something that's just gonna be a welcome sign. But down here, there are some of these metal gold frames that I was wanting to Put some photos of us and my family around the little cake table, so I might get one of these cute little trios. Put like my grandparents, my mom, and uh, myself and Jonathan. Oh, this table is so cute. How much is it? 35. It's really cute, but there's only one, and I don't have a house to decorate, so moving on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, how cute would it be to have that in your kitchen? It's so cute. You like it? I love it. You gonna get it? No. Oh, some vinyls here. Well, I found a bunch of brass, but I don't think any of them are going to work, unfortunately, because the bottom needs to be under four inches, and I think all of these are over, so. Whiskey needs the lights were dim as 
Alright, that was pretty successful. I was a little worried at first because um, the first place we went to I wasn't really finding anything. But we did find a lot more stuff so I think I'll start with this little bag. Oh yeah, this one actually I have to make sure that this glass fits over it. Let's hope. Moment of truth. Well, I measured it, and it was supposed to be four inches, and this glass is two. I'm getting fingerprints all over this, but it doesn't. It just doesn't. We'll figure something out for that. I also got this one. Lots of brass candle holders. And this one. So I think I paid, I paid $12 for this set of Baldwin um, brass, and $5 for this one, which is just like... A random one and I think I paid eight dollars for this one <laughs> what? Did you do? Did you? she wants to make it in my video all right yeah so twelve dollars for the set eight and five for those not too bad I actually plan on reselling these after the weddings over well most of them some of them I'll keep some of like the nicer Baldwin I'll probably um, hang on to. I know it's a super popular thing for weddings to have these, so I'm sure another bride out there will really appreciate that they don't have to go searching all around their areas for brass candlestick holders and also these vases. Oh, and I got two more. Two more short ones. Voila. Just like that. Oh my gosh, they barely fit over. I got so lucky on that one. And also I got a major steal in these. These are actually also Baldwin brass. They're in amazing condition. And they sold them to me for $2.99 each. And I bought this little mirror tray. It's also brass and it's by Matson. They sell for about like 150, something like that. And I found this for 48. So it's a lot for like a mirror tray, but I actually went back for it, so I had thought about it for a little while and decided I really wanted it, so I splurged a little bit. And then, so sometimes I go into these kind of stores and I see something and I just have to have it. I have no reason, I have no use for it. I just absolutely have to have it, so this was one of those things. Ah, look at it! Look at it! It was like a little, I don't know, a little mini log holder? I don't know. What would you put in it? logs I, I don't know what i'd use it for but it's really cute and then i walked around the corner and i found pop a log holder <laughs> oh, look at them they're like little tacos that's all i got so now i have a total of 13 candlestick holders um it would be 14 if this one had worked but um did not so but i think this is a pretty good start and i'm really happy with it and it does look like a lot of brass <laughs> Like, am I going a little too hard on the brass for this wedding? But I think spread out amongst like all the tables, it'll look a lot better. I hope you guys enjoy this first little wedding vlog I made. Um, it's one of many coming up because I plan to make a lot of stuff for my wedding and do a lot of thrifting like this. So if you like this kind of content, stick around and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bisou! Forevermore, we're living in that vintage dream.